Welcome to Ultrasound Review 3. There are 54 questions and answers in this video. Please smash that like button. Comment. Share, and subscribe. Ready? Let's start. The type of tissue within the spleen that is responsible for its phagocytic function is the A. Red pulp B. White pulp C. Calling pulp D. Pitting pulp The answer is A. Red pulp The splenic vein marks the A. Posterior aspect of the pancreatic body and tail. B. Anterior aspect of the pancreatic body and tail. C. Medial surface of the pancreatic body and tail. D. Lateral aspect of the pancreatic body and tail. The answer is A. Posterior aspect of the pancreatic body and tail. In a patient with suspected lymphoma, the presence of Reed Sternberg cells indicates A. Hodgkin lymphoma. B. Non Hodgkin lymphoma. C. Metastatic liver disease. D. Splenic infarction. The answer is A. Hodgkin lymphoma. What is the functional unit of the kidney? A. Nephron. B. Medulla. C. Cortex. D. Bowman's capsule. The answer is A. Nephron. The kidneys are A. Intraperitoneal organs. B. Retroperitoneal organs. C. Both intraperitoneal and retroperitoneal organs. D. Neither intraperitoneal nor retroperitoneal organs. The answer is B. Retroperitoneal organs. The protective capsule of the kidney is referred to as A. Glisten capsule. B. Prerenal capsule. C. Renal capsule. D. Renal cortex. The answer is C. Renal capsule. The vessel located anterior to the abdominal aorta and posterior to the superior mesenteric artery is the A. Celiac artery. B. Left renal artery. C. Right renal vein. D. Left renal vein. The answer is D. Left renal vein. Enlargement of the unaffected contralateral kidney with unilateral renal agenesis or compromised renal function is referred to as A. Dromedary hypertrophy B. Renal hypoplasia C. Supernumerary kidney D. Compensatory hypertrophy The answer is D. Compensatory hypertrophy A bulge on the lateral border of the kidney is referred to as A. Duplicated kidney B. Renal hypoplasia. C. Dromedary hump. D. Supernumerary kidney. The answer is C. Dromedary hump. What is the most common location of an ectopic kidney? A. Thoracic cavity. B. Pelvis. C. Contralateral fossa. D. Left upper quadrant. The answer is B. Pelvis. A disorder of the connective tissue characterized by tall stature and aortic and mitral valve insufficiency is A. Wilms syndrome B. Meckel-Gruber syndrome C. Marfan syndrome D. Kleinman syndrome The answer is C. Marfan syndrome The inner wall layer of a vessel, closest to the passing blood, is the A. Tunica media B. Tunica intima C. Tunica rugi. D. Tunica adventitia. The answer is B. Tunica intima. The first main visceral branch of the abdominal aorta is the A. Superior mesenteric artery. B. Celiac artery. C. Renal arteries. D. Hepatic artery. The answer is B. Celiac artery. An aneurysm associated with infection is termed A. Recanalized B. Saccular C. Fusiform D. Mycotic The answer is D. Mycotic All of the following are branches of the celiac axis except A. 
right gastric artery, b, hepatic artery, c, splenic artery, d, left gastric artery. The answer is, a, right gastric artery. The outer wall layer of a vessel is the, a, tunica media, b, tunica intima, c, tunica rugi, d, tunica adventitia. The answer is, d, tunica adventitia. What should the postprandial flow pattern be within the superior mesenteric artery? A. High resistance. B. Low resistance. The answer is B. Low resistance. The second main branch of the abdominal aorta is the A. Superior mesenteric artery. B. Celiac artery. C. Renal arteries. D. Hepatic artery. The answer is A. Superior mesenteric artery. Of the following, which vessel will show a different flow pattern after eating? A. Celiac artery. B. Splenic artery. C. Renal artery. D. Superior mesenteric artery. The answer is D. Superior mesenteric artery. An abdominal aortic aneurysm is present when the diameter of the abdominal aorta exceeds a 10 mm, b 2.5 mm, circa 3 cm, d 2 mm. The answer is circa 3 cm. Occlusion of the hepatic veins describes a. Marfan syndrome, b. Klinefelter syndrome, c. Morrison syndrome, d. Budkiori syndrome. The answer is D. Budkiori syndrome. The most common shape of an abdominal aortic aneurysm is A. Secular. B. Bulbous. C. True. D. Fusiform. The answer is D. Fusiform. Which vascular structure may be confused for the main pancreatic duct? A. Hepatic artery. B. Left gastric artery. C. Superior mesenteric artery. D. Splenic artery. The answer is D. Splenic artery. The IVC terminates at the A. Common iliac veins. B. Right atrium. C. Left atrium. D. Left ventricle. The answer is B. Right atrium. The main portal vein is created by the union of the A. Splenic vein and superior mesenteric vein. B. Superior mesenteric vein and inferior mesenteric vein. C. Splenic vein and inferior mesenteric vein. D. Splenic vein and gastroduodenal vein. The answer is A. Splenic vein and superior mesenteric vein. The veins seen attaching to the IVC just below the diaphragm are the A. Renal veins. B. Superior mesenteric vein. C. Hepatic veins. D. Celiac axis. The answer is C. Hepatic veins. The aorta originates at the A. Left atrium. B. Right atrium. C. Left ventricle. D. Right ventricle. The answer is C. Left ventricle. Clinical findings of an abdominal aortic aneurysm include all of the following except A. Lower extremity pain B. Back pain C. Abdominal brute D. Neck pain The answer is D. Neck pain An outpatient with a history of back pain and hypertension presents to the ultrasound department for an abdominal aortic sonogram. Sonographically, you visualize a 6 cm infrarenal aortic aneurysm with an echogenic linear structure noted gently swaying in the aortic lumen. What is the most likely diagnosis? A. Aortic rupture. B. Chronic aortic aneurysm. C. Aortic dissection. D. Aortic rupture. The answer is C. Aortic dissection. What vessel travels posterior to the superior mesenteric artery and anterior to the abdominal aorta? A. 
left renal vein, b, left renal artery, c, right renal vein, d, splenic vein. The answer is, a, left renal vein. Which of the following would most likely have a high resistance flow pattern? A. Celiac artery. B. Common iliac artery. C. Splenic artery. D. Right renal artery. The answer is B. Common iliac artery. What vessel travels anterior to the left renal artery? A. Left renal vein. B. Hepatic artery. C. Right renal vein. D. Superior mesenteric vein. That answer is A. Left renal vein. Enlargement of the IVC, with subsequent enlargement of the hepatic veins, is seen in cases of A. Budd-Chiari syndrome. B. Marfan syndrome. C. Left-sided heart failure. D. Right-sided heart failure. The answer is D. Right-sided heart failure. Which of the following would have a pulsatile, triphasic blood flow pattern? A. Renal veins. B. Hepatic veins. C. Gonadal veins. D. Common iliac veins. The answer is B. Hepatic veins. The diameter of the IVC should never exceed a 1.5 cm, B 2.5 cm, circa 3.5 cm. D 8 mm. The answer is B 2.5 cm. Which of the following statements about the IVC is not true? A. The diameter of the IVC is variable. B. Respiration can affect the size of the IVC. C. The IVC is located to the left of the abdominal aorta. D. The IVC is considered retroperitoneal in location. The answer is C. The IVC is located to the left of the abdominal aorta. Which of the following statements about the abdominal aorta is not true? A. Most aneurysms located within the abdominal aorta are false aneurysms. B. The abdominal aorta is located just left of the midline. C. The most common location of an abdominal aortic aneurysm is infrarenal. D. The abdominal aorta is considered to be retroperitoneal in location. The answer is A. Most aneurysms located within the abdominal aorta are false aneurysms. Identify the structure for each number. Pause the video if you need. One is GDA, gastroduodenal artery. Two is up, uncinate process. Three is SPV, splenic vein. Four is CBD, common bile duct. Five is IVC, inferior vena cava. Pause the video and memorize this image. Identify the structure for each number. One, pancreas head. Two, pancreas body. Three, pancreas tail. Pause the video and memorize this image. What is the diagnosis? The arrows show comet tails indicating that is adenomyomatosis. The anterior wall is thickening. Identify the structures in the colored arrows. That is the seagull sign. Green, hepatic artery yellow, splenic artery red, celiac artery. Pause the video and review this image again. Identify the structure at the arrow. That is gallstone with a posterior shadow. Recognize and memorize the gallstone in these images. What is this again? Comet tails. Adenomyomatosis. Identify the structures in the colored arrows. Green, SMA. Yellow, 
border of the spine. What is this? Right lobe of liver, adjacent right kidney. Identify the structures. One is ligament and venosum. Two is caudate lobe. Three is IVC. What is the organ? It's a spleen. Not a liver. Study and memorize this image. What is that? Dromedary hump. The yellow arrows point to? Hypertrophied column of Burton. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and comment.